Chapter 12 Now these are the priests and the Levites that went up with Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, Zeriah, <coughs> Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Malak, Hattush, Shechaniah, Rehum, Merimoth, Ido, Genetho, Abijah, Mayamim, Maada, Bilga, Shemaiah, Joyarib, Jediah, Salu, Amok, Hilkiah, Jediah. These were the chief of the priests and their brethren in the days of Jeshua. Moreover, the Levites, Jeshua, Benui, Cadmiel, Sherebiah, Judah, and Mataniah, which was over the thanksgiving, he and his brethren. And Bakbakiah, Unai, their brethren were over against them in the watches. And Jeshua begat Joachim, and Joachim also begat Eliashib, and Eliashib begat Joiada, and Joiada begat Jonathan, and Jonathan begat Jadua. And in the days of Joachim were priests, the chief of the fathers of Sariah, Moriah, of Jeremiah, Hananiah, of Ezra, Meshulam, of Amariah, Jehohanan, Melechu, Jonathan, of Shebaniah, Joseph, of Harim, Adna, of Meraiah, Helkiah, of Ido, Zechariah, of Ginnathon, Meshulam, of Abijah, Zikri, of Miniam, Amen, Modiah, Piltai, of Bilgah, Shemua, and Shemaiah, Jehonathan, and of Joyarib, Mathani, of Jediah, Uzi of Selai, Kil Kalai of Amok, Eber of Hilkiah, Hashbaniah of Jediah, Nethaniel. The Levites in the days of Eliashib, Joiada, and jo Johanan, and Jadua were recorded chief of the fathers and also the priests to the reign of Darius the Persian. The sons of Levi, the chief of the fathers, were written in the book of Chronicles even until the days of Joanan, the son of Eliashib. <clears throat> and the chief of the Levites, Hashabiah, Sherebiah, Jeshua, the son of Cadmiel, with their brethren over against them, to praise and to give thanks according to the commandment of David, the man of God, ward over against ward. Mataniah, Babukiah, Obadiah, Meshulam, Talmon, Echab, were porters keeping the ward at the thresholds of the gate. These were in the days of Joachim, the son of Jeshua, the son of Josadak, and in the days of Nehemiah the governor and of Ezra the priest, the scribe. And at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to keep the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgiving and with singing, with cymbals, psalteries, and harps. And the sons of the singers gathered themselves together both out of the plain country round about Jerusalem and from the villages of Nedophathi, also from the house of Gilgal, and out of the fields of Geba and Asmaveth. For the singers had built them villages round about Jerusalem. And the priests and the Levites purified themselves and purified the people and the gates and the wall. Then I brought up the princes of Judah upon the wall and appointed two great companies of them to give thanks whereof one went on the right hand upon the wall toward the dung gate, and after them went Hoshiah, and half the princes of Judah, and Azariah, Ezra, Meshulam, Judah, and Benjamin, and Shemaiah, and Jeremiah, and certainly, and certain of the priests' sons with trumpets, namely Zechariah, the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Micaiah, the son, the son of Zachar, the son of Asaph, and his brethren, Shemaiah, and Azarel, Milali, Gilali, Mai, Nethaniel, and Judah, Hanani, with the musical instruments of David, the man of God, and Ezra the scribe before them. <clears throat> and at the fountain gate, which was over against them, they went up by the stairs of the city of David, at the going up of the wall, above the house of David, even unto the water gate eastward. And the other company of them that gave thanks went over against them, and I after them. And the half of the people upon the wall, from beyond the tower of the furnaces, even unto the broad wall. 
and from above the gate of Ephraim, and above the old gate, and above the fish gate, and the tower of Hananiel, and the tower of Mia, even unto the sheep gate, and they stood still in the prison gate. So stood the two companies of them that gave thanks in the house of God, and I, and the half of the rulers with me, and the priests Eliakim, Measiah, Mini Am, Amin, Micaiah, Eli Onei, Zechariah, and Hananiah with trumpets, and Maaseiah, and Sheremiah, and Eleazar, and Uzi, and Jehoanan, and Malchijah, and Elam, and Ezer, and the singers sang loud with Jezrahiah their overseer. Also that day they offered great sacrifices and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The wives also and the children rejoiced, so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard even afar off. And at that time there were appointed over the chambers of the treasures for the offerings for the first fruits and for the tithes to gather into them out of the fields of the cities the portions of the law for the priests and the Levites, for Judah rejoiced for the priests and the Levites that for the Levites that waited. And both the singers and the porters kept the word of their God, and the word of their pure of the purification according to the commandment of David and of Solomon his son. For in the days of David and Asaph of old, they, there were chief of the singers in songs of praise and thanksgiving unto God. And all Israel in the days of Zerubbabel and in the days of Nehemiah gave the portions of the singers and the, port, the porters every day his portion. And they sanctified holy things unto the Levites, and the Levites sanctified them unto the children of Aaron. Here we see that Nehemiah leads the consecration of the finished city of David. So not only has the temple been completed, of course that was done quite a while ago, now the wall is completed. And what he does is he takes the people and the leaders, Levites and priests, and divides them into two groups. And each group goes up uh, on the wall and they march around. And they meet at one particular spot, and they have a prayer over the dedication of the wall. And so now the wall and the temple are dedicated, and Nehemiah has done a huge work. He's been there about 14 years, and it's time for him to go back and reestablish his connection to Artaxerxes, his king. Which is what exactly what he does. Now, it says that they kept the ward of the singers and porters and whatnot. And basically, what that meant was they sort of made sure that everything went the way it was supposed to. Kept the ward of, was sort of kept the record of in, in, um, in the way it was supposed to be done. So they knew what was supposed to be done, and they made sure it was carried out under Nehemiah and Ezra's direction. Uh, 